This is a journey that goes beyond conventional styles and norms to explore the profound impact of avant-garde fashion on individual expression and interpersonal connections. Through the lens of vulnerability, community and tribe, we unfold the transformative and liberating power of experimental fashion. This exploration extends beyond individualism, delving into the heart of communities and tribes that form around avant-garde fashion. These vibrant collectives celebrate diversity, encouraging a sense of belonging that transcends social boundaries. As we delve into the personal narratives of those who boldly embrace this movement, we discover how vulnerability becomes a strength, fostering a deeper connection between self and style. Sometimes I feel very vulnerable. It can be, it depends. It depends on my mood, it depends on the people around, on where I am. Uh, but it's a very, it can be a very destructive feeling actually, to feel vulnerable and not to be able to do something with that. Um, but what I found as a, as a kind of, as a way to, to deal with my vulnerability is, is I'm, I'm doing that through fashion, through the way I look, through the way I pick up clothes. So one day I may feel very vulnerable and this is the day when I, want to look powerful most of all so i will just pull up some crazy outfits <laughs> and it, it works in the end because people just see me wearing some crazy stuff but um actually what i feel inside is very fragile and um not maybe not very sure of where i'm going but that's okay just People need to see what they need to see. People who are the most dressed up are the most vulnerable. And that's also the connection I kind of sometimes feel with the people when I see avant-garde-ish people look, look like avant fashion on people or people who are experimental in, in their style. So I'm like, so you also have sort of trauma or like weakness that you're trying to cover. Sometimes I feel unsecure when you, you wearing. Yeah, because I feel so much more vulnerable kind of when I look like this than when I just, well, I, I never really look normal because I have this fucking shit all the time. I love this. You know how much struggle and pressure it can be yeah. to wear something different and out of normality, if we can call it. So whenever, when, when I saw you, I was like, this should be very empowering. Yeah. It's like, absolutely. It's like, can you, would you describe your experience of wearing? I just wish that. Yeah. I feel so much, I feel the most free. I feel the most, I, I feel, I'm celebrating myself like, I, I also love to feel fully committed to art. Like I want to feel like I've painted everything. Like I've I feel like completely. This sounds kind of cheese. Like completely free in this expression, and yeah. it, that feels so good. That like no matter the comments when I see the family, you know, when yeah, I'm yeah. in public, I don't even I don't care because it's yeah. like I can't care. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just keep my head down. And, just, and then I'm just like, and then, but then I keep my head down, except for when I'm out, and then I'm just like, you can see me now. <laughs> Do you feel like this makeup or any makeup it adds or something extra than you are, or how does it how does it feel, mm. or it's just like? Yeah, I feel like it absolutely adds so much. I feel like adds context like I feel mm -hmm. like it describes the setting like mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. okay, it communicates okay. so much to people oh. without me <coughs> having to really just, say anything oh. or for you anyone to like tip with some eyeshadow. you know they know so much about me like 20 feet across the room yeah. like already even though um, it's a whole different persona Who's be vulnerable down? in a mm -hmm. crowd yes. or in a space yeah. where 
Yeah, so, where it can where maybe I can't be a hundred percent vulnerable, but like through this like manifestation of it, I think. So you feel like by being vulnerable, you're like taking that power back. Absolutely. Just, like, yes. Kind of like how I said earlier, of this communicates so much of me. I think it's easy to feel really small and mm -hmm. unseen and invisible, and I think because I was given that space to like, mm -hmm. you know, I had a microphone in my hand and, yeah. you know, I was singing my music and singing my heart out and, um, yeah, I felt like protected. Yeah, yeah through this look, it's like, yeah, my heart and so, yeah. Yeah, I felt like I was being looked out after because I felt like I was a part of these people now because like, they were cheering for me and I was dancing for them, like we shared that moment and um, yeah, tonight I'm really looking forward to that too. Like, it's going to be a very emotional uh, performance. Fashion has the power to connect people in certain type of tribes, I, I call them. I like the word tribe because it's very specific in a way that it says what kind of aesthetics you belong to or what kind of life vision you share. When I became friends with life, like everything changed for me because there's finally someone else to bounce ideas off of and to become a, like, I wouldn't look the way I do if like, I didn't have like, if you weren't there. See people and, and, and they, they are like serving a look and you're like, oh my God, that speaks to me in some yeah, ways. And you're like, I want to talk to you. I want to be your friend. Let's be friends. <laughs> like, I see what you're saying. I, I, I understand that. And, and that is so beautiful. And I, I, I love that about, about life. To tie it back into fashion, because I'm like, I think collectively, there's always a collective mind because I'm like, I was obsessed with aliens and I was drawing them now that I do this and I'm like, there are a lot of other aliens out there. They're not really in San Francisco, but they're in like London and Make me feel like I have to, yes, I'm present. I can't get over my hammer. I have support who care about that. I'm very hand up. We're on to the job. I'm going to shop fine. You just care. You just care. Ah, we're going to have some more work. I'm going to do a bit of them. Vulnerable, like how to a good time match, or Bolorakarikman support you, Coming from Armenia, which is like pretty reserved in a way, it's like conservative, very masculine oriented. So you have to look in a certain way to fit the society and just like not to be judged. So, and I have like lots of friends that are from queer community, and they told me so much about fashion. It's like they, they, I think they kind of reshape my idea of what fashion is. My friend Argishti made this shirt inspired by me. This is me. I don't remember how old I was, but he just stole this picture from my mother and he used it for, for his <laughs> fashion collection, <laughs> which is called T-shirt Anna. And this is so important to me. Um, this, this just speaks uh, about the, 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 the connection I have with friends through fashion and how inspirational I can be to, to, to people and how inspirational they can be to me. It started since I was a kid, really. I mean, my grandmother was a fashionista and she Aww. was very inspiring in that way. Like we would go to thrift shops when, we were super, when I was super young and like just her closet was uh, so fab. Like she was just such a goddess and just so femme and just like embodied like the feminine divinity of a woman, you know, and I'm, you know, we're Chinese and Vietnamese, so like that cultural aspect brought into the fashion, like, and like it like meshing with, I'm Canadian, so she, we, we were living in Canada at the time and just that cross of like Chinese, Vietnamese culture cross with like moving to Canada and like, you know, bringing in that, those elements. But 
I mean, my inspiration has always been, I mean, I, I was a tomboy growing up. So I, I really love like, you know, tapping into the andro androgynous, yeah. you know, styles. Like I love wearing oversized things. Like, I mean, this blazer, it's just like, I love a oversized blazer, you know, like it's just, it's, for me, it's like an oversized blazer with a tiny little top and then like baggy jeans or something or just big trousers. It's yeah. kind of like that juxtaposition is really nice because I mean, Aliyah, she's a huge yeah. inspiration of mine, right? So it's kind of like that. But I mean, I've also been really drawn to dark, darker things, darker textures. And I think music has been a huge influence on, you know, my style and, um, but in terms of just like community and like, you know, people and like just seeing my peers and people that I love that really inspire me, like come to a place that I've like, you know, put together an event and everyone's coming out and they're going to serve their looks. It's like that to me is like the juice and the nectar of life, like fashion, right? Because it makes life so exciting. I mean kind of like how my makeup and like my room and stuff, I'm like a very like exploding person like okay. I picture just like a like a bucket like overflowing with like <laughs> uh, just just so much shit and I feel like uh, I feel like I think that's what makes me unique in the way that I perform is that I think there's so many shape. people who are minimalists and I like they're just yeah absolutely and still making yeah. awesome art you know, I, well, yeah, I do. You know. Thing on the floor in the middle of a room doing nothing and that's yeah. their performance or someone could be like shooting fireworks out of their boobs and like <laughs> and I think I'd lean more towards that one um, <laughs> the fireworks out of the boobs for sure the number is called the visitor and it's like so I want to be kind of like this like like ethereal like go spirit type of like Deeply knowing thing. Jesus is a miracle. Life wants to be space. Lost is by evil. God is really broken. It can be God in the world. out of his way. He just said, Oh, you got lost in space. All his rays and me. Here. Clothes transform into canvases, reflecting the inner desires, dreams, and characters of those who wear them. Through the lens of creativity and inspiration, we witness the power of clothes that challenge biased notions, sparking a transformation in the way we perceive and interact with one another. Yeah. 
curtain and a smile that said, oh.